In addition to Abdullah Shahid Sajlaev's triumph, the freestyle wrestling competitions at the Tokyo Olympics gave Russia new Olympic champions. Today's video will talk about one of these heroes, two-time world champion and already a new gold medalist Ossetian Zorbik Sidikov. Zorbik was born in the small Ossetian village of Zilgi, where there were no wrestling clubs at all. Sidikov was able to start training in martial arts only when he went to school. For the sake of training, the boy traveled to Beslan, which is about 10 kilometers from his home. However, Zorbik was soon forced to give up training. After the terrible terrorist attack in the Beslan school in 2004, which affected many of Sidikov's friends, his parents stopped letting him go to the city. A few months later, Zorbik still returned to wrestling, but without much desire. The boy was motivated to work by shame because of his defeat at the competitions. Sidikov began to give all his strength to wrestling and did not leave training until he defeated his opponent. Zorbik's perseverance soon bore fruit. At the age of 19, the wrestler got into the Russian national team. The first really big success awaited Sidikov at the 2018 World Championships. No one expected a victory from the young wrestler then. On Zorbik's way stood the legends of freestyle wrestling Jordan Burroughs from the United States and Frank Camizo from Italy. It seemed impossible for a little-known athlete to pass through such a net. But Sidikov went against the forecasts and took the favorites out of the fight at once. And in the final he defeated Georgian Evtendel Kenshids and became world champion. A year later, Sidikov proved that his success was no coincidence. At the 2019 World Championships, the athlete almost mirrored his last year's path. First, he defeated American Jordan Burroughs, and in the final, he defeated Italian Frank Camizo. Zorbik dedicated his victory to the people affected by the Beslan tragedy. I fought for the sake of all the victims, all those who died and suffered in this monstrous terrorist attack. I grew up there. I started training there. Beslan is a small homeland for me. I remember everything and will not forget anything. When there were recent morning events, I said to myself, I will fight for the sake of these people. I will become a world champion and dedicate the victory to them. That was my main motivation now, Sidikov admitted. Zorbik's incredible will led him to the Tokyo Olympics. Sidikov was going to the Tokyo Games in the rank of the second star of our freestyle wrestling team, the number one star not only in our country, but also on the planet, Heavy Abdulrashid Sejlaev. And this also put additional pressure. But Zorbik did not notice all this load of responsibility and old wounds, and passed the Olympic tournament perfectly. In one-eighth of the final, he defeated Augusto Midena from Guinea-Bissau. In the quarterfinals, he defeated Uzbek Baksad Abdurakmanov. And in the semi-finals, he defeated Kazakhstan's Denyar Kesanov. In the final, the Russian had to fight with Megamedabib Kadimagomedov of Dagestan, representing Belarus. Of course, they had already fought with Zorbik Sidikov. Very memorable was the fight at the Russian Championship 2017 in Nazrin. Then Megamedabib won, and there was a scuffle in the hall. The fighters themselves shook hands. But, let's go back to the Olympic Games. The wrestlers started the final bout hard. Sidikov led 1-0 only due to the fact that Kadim Gamadov was penalized for passive wrestling. He did not use his 30 seconds for a productive action. Then Megamedabib tried to escalate. He passed into the leg, but failed to bring down Zorbik. Then he tried to make a throw, but Sidikov evaded him by doing a somersault. Active actions from Zorbik began after the break. In the second period, the Russian began to aggressively attack his opponent. Each effective action brought him to points. The Russian wrestler moved Kadimagomedov to the floor and the score became 3-0. Then there was a successful counterattack. The score was 5-0. Then Sidikov pushed Kadimagomedov off the mat. The score was 6-0. And after again he made Kadimagomedov outside the mat and on the scoreboard 7-0. The fight was over. Sidikov confidently defeated his opponent and took the last award, which was missing in his collection. In Tokyo, he had no equal. No one has ever shown such a dominant performance at this wrestling tournament. 